So tomorrow on our show, the American Idol finalist, one of the finalists, Danny Ogoki will be, he'll be performing for us mm -hmm. as well. And Jeff Daniels, who's on Broadway right now, the Red Hot God of Carnage. Yeah, it's a great show, mm -hmm. and uh, good to see him tomorrow. All right, being a runner-up isn't so bad when the competition is American Idol. Mm -hmm. Please welcome one of the most glamorous finals ever in American Idol. Here's Adam Lampert. <laughs> Great to have you here. Thanks, it's See, good to be here. This is show business, you know what yes. I mean? Yes. Yeah. Good you, for you. I like the show business. I Where do. were you born, Adam? Was it San Diego or Southern California? I grew up in San Diego, but I was born in Indianapolis. Indiana, oh. Indiana boy. Yeah, huh? lived there for about a year, and then my dad got a job in San Diego. A, a beautiful place to grow up, yeah. right? Mm. Yeah, good for families. Yeah. yeah. And then as a young boy, you began right away, right in the business, huh? Yeah, ten, Snoop, ten years Snoopy, old. Snoopy, right? Was Snoopy Linus the first? In, Linus, in, in your good man, Charlie Brown. Yeah. Mm. That was the first gig. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you went and you auditioned uh, one, of the, one of those downtown theaters in San yep. Diego? Lyceum yeah, Lyceum Theater. Um, it was with the Children's Theater group. So it wasn't right. professional. Uh -huh. It was just like an after school thing. But you had you had it. You felt like uh, you had tapped into something. I wanted it bad. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then then you got the job and then you performed on stage and it became even more intense, right? Mm -hmm. This Obsession. was gonna be Obsession. what you were gonna do. Yeah, exactly. What else did you do? Um, after that, I did productions of Fiddler on the Roof, Peter Pan, you know, all the, the standard family theater shows. But isn't that great training to be uh, on yeah. stage? Well, those I great have to shows? say that you stood mm. out as a showman from the first audition on because I feel like you just had a presence that maybe was lacking in a lot of the other contestants. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing it a long time, so sure. it, do, it does it does play into Absolutely, things, you know? experience is everything. Yeah. But then, going back to when you were 10 years old, you went to your, your first concert. I did. And guess who was appearing there? Paula Abdul. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that years later you would be there being judged by Paula I Abdul. I know, it was like a full circle moment. I mean, I had her cassette tape that was yeah. like, you know, worn cassette out. Cassette tape, exactly. right? I mean, you know? Well, she's very versatile. She can sing, she can dance, she, she can was, judge. She was, she's a great entertainer as well. Sure. You know, and, and I think she inspired me from a different perspective because right. outside of theater, I didn't really know what else there was. Her, Michael Jackson, Madonna, right. you know, the big pop stars oh, sure. that I was growing up with. Now, did you tell, ever tell Paula this story? I did. You I did? did, yeah, during my first audition. She got audition. a kick out of it, she, huh? Yeah, and she's been so supportive ever since. Yeah, so. sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to come back and talk a little more, and then you're going to sing for us, too, huh? We'll be right back. Still ahead on live, we'll look at the best way.